Hello, I'm Greg Lamb with the Sleater Group. In this video, I'm going to review Cashew's online accountant software. This will be a two-part review. In this first part, I'll give an introduction to Cashew, navigate around a bit, and show you how transactions are recorded. I started investigating Cashew back in 2012, and at that time, I was impressed as the software was simple, yet had the basics that accountants and bookkeepers needed. These accountant basics are accrual accounting, good control over the chart of accounts, and the ability to create journal entries. For small business owners, Cashew, having these accounting basics, means you can use it to accurately produce profit and loss and balance sheet reports. In other words, you can use Cashew to see how much money your company makes, how much money your company is worth, and how your company achieved that worth. Beyond its web app, Cashew also has iOS apps for both the iPad and iPhone that allows you to do most things that the web app can. Cashew doesn't have any country-specific additions, but has payroll add-ons for the United States and Canada. The first thing that struck me when reviewing Cashew was its dashboard. Unlike other software, the dashboard was designed to quickly enter income and expense transactions. Sure, there are some key metrics found on the right-hand side, but the main part is a form for entering income and a form for entering expenses. And that brings me to the second thing that I noticed about Cashew was that there wasn't a big distinction between sales receipts and invoices or bills and expenses. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right now you're seeing the enter income tab. This is supposed to be for simple sales. If I go to the enter invoice tab, you'll see a few more fields appear, but essentially they are the same thing. So enter income is for less details and enter invoice is for more details. So in a product like QuickBooks, you have sales receipts and sales invoices. Receipts are for things that are paid for at the time they're purchased, while sales invoices are for things that are paid for at a later date. Well, in Cashew, to distinguish between an invoice and a sales receipt, all you need to do is choose your terms or payment account. If something is paid for right away, you choose a paid account. If it's not, you choose an unpaid accounts receivable account. Even if you start filling out something using the Enter Income tab, and then want to enter more details, you can simply choose the Enter Invoice tab and the details will stay. I like this approach to entering income, and the same is true for entering expenses. It's so simple, and I wonder why other software doesn't do this. The two reasons I can come up with are that, with this approach, it's hard to create fine-grained user roles if everything can be done from a single form. Special situations, like credits, prepayments, deposits, and refunds, require more accounting knowledge when you only have a single form to work with. For limiting what users can do, I don't think this is a huge problem since Cashew targets micro-businesses. Another area where Cashew is simple is navigation. The majority of your menu items are on the left-hand side. You have forms to input data on top, your reports in the middle, and your setup items on the bottom. Let me start cycling through the various menu items. If I go to income, you'll notice that it's almost exactly like the dashboard. The two big differences is that you'll see a history of your income transactions below, and you'll have income-based reports on the right-hand side. I mostly like the income entry form in Cashew. It's easy to tab or mouse across. If I need to create a new customer or account, that can be done from the drop-down box. You see here that I can add a new customer. Over here, I can add a new income account. For selling or purchasing products, Cashew can use items. If I click on this item, you'll see that it has a tax code, description, sell price, income account, purchase price, and expense account associated with it. So if I go back to the form, choosing an item will make it easy to fill out. Unlike some other accounting software, Using items doesn't prevent me from simply selecting an account if I want to do that. I like this flexibility. For example, software like QuickBooks and Wave won't let you do this. What also makes Cashew's forms agile is that you can select any account type from an account field. For example, if I want to select an expense account in the income account field, I can. I find this handy, for example, with PayPal transactions, where I need to record the income, but also want to record the fee taken off the income received which is an expense. Tax is also flexible since you can use multiple tax codes and even custom percentages and amounts in the sales tax field. So if I want to charge 550 of a single tax, I could type in 550S to do so. If I wanted to make it 5.5%, I change it and put a percentage mark in there. This sales tax flexibility is great when you need to record invoices with mixed tax codes and products with special exemptions or tax percentages. The last thing I'll show you about the income page is the repeat functionality. And this functionality is true of any transaction, whether it be expenses, journal entries, or transfers. 
A nice feature is that you can start from any date and end on any date. This allows you to create transactions that occur both in the past and in the future. The amount of options you have for frequency should be enough to satisfy most scenarios. A downside to Cashew's repeat functionality is that it enters all the transactions into the system the moment you press repeat. This means that you can't schedule automatic emails to go out on the date of each invoice and that if you look at your income or expense pages, they'll be full of future transactions. So there's lots of positives for Cashew's income page. The negatives all come in functionality that it doesn't have. There's a few little things like you can't see your tax subtotal before saving. You can't see a customer's address information unless you download a PDF or go to edit the customer. And when you go to send out an email, you can't have an attachment. But the big things are that there is no online invoicing and there is no online payments. There's also no good dashboard for invoice transactions. If you look at other software like Xero or QuickBooks Online, they do a good job of creating a dashboard of income transactions that you can easily filter by status, like a good stand-in, overdue, or paid, and quickly focus in on specific customers. Getting to this data can be done in Cashew. You can use a search field, for example. If I want to find unpaid invoices, I type in paid, colon, false. But really, how many people are going to know that? You also can't sort the data by the column header and only 10 results are displayed at a time. Furthermore, no batch actions can be taken on transactions shown. Receiving payment in Cashew is simple enough via the Enter Payment tab. But again, I think it'd be nice to have some type of outstanding payments dashboard here instead of showing a blank form. However, a bigger want of mine would be the ability to have customer deposits in batches like you do in QuickBooks. Recording batch deposits is useful when you deposit multiple customer payments in a single bank deposit. Cashew does have an undeposited funds account but there's no easy way to batch the deposited funds together into the bank account. In case you're wondering, you need to manually transfer the funds from the undeposited funds account using the transfers page. So those are the big pros and cons for the income page. Now, if I go on to expenses, it really is pretty much the exact same as the income page. So I won't rehash everything I've said. Something that I don't often see in online accounting software is easy access to creating a journal entry. In Cashew, this is called the Adjustments page. Here, you can debit and credit accounts, add a reference, and add a memo. So you can create basic journal entries, which is good enough for micro businesses. You won't get fancy auto-reversing journal entries or the ability to add a description for each line item here. Something that seems a bit old school nowadays is the check printing page. Of course, businesses still need to print checks, so this is highly useful for those that need to. But for me, it's close to two years now since I've actually printed a check. All right, this is it for part one of the video review. In part two, I'll discuss banking, payroll, reports, getting data in and out, sales taxes, accounting tools, mobile apps, support, and finally, present my overall opinion of Cashew. I'm Greg Lamb with the Slater Group, and I'll catch you on the flip side.